44 days until the competition, my second ever fitness model competition. I'm super, super excited. I'm tired, I feel overwhelmed, and I'll talk about that in this video. So it's the 23rd of March, 2017. This is another vlog, and I wanna talk about how I'm feeling tired and overwhelmed. Now I'm doing night shift at the moment. I've already done four nights consecutively, starting 8.30 at night, finishing seven in the morning, getting home at 7.30, and then sleeping until 2 p.m., waking up, and it's now 20 past four in the afternoon. And I'm shooting this video and I'm tired. I've done four nights, I have three more to go, and I have to go back to work tonight. So I wanted to take this moment to share with you what I have planned, what my schedule is looking like over the next week or two weeks of getting ready for my second fitness model competition on the 7th of May, 2017. So I've done, you know, four nights. Now, um, look, it's been challenging. Doing the night shift has been challenging. And I've still been making progress. And I talk more about, you know, if you're watching this and you're a shift worker, if you're watching this and you're a night shift worker, and you're wanting to lose a bit of weight, you're not looking at competing, I understand that. It's, competing is for crazy people like me. They want to go to the extremes of things. But if you just want to lose a bit of weight, you're struggling as a night shift worker, or you know, if you're a police officer, flight attendant, pilot, security guard officer, bouncer, doctor, nurse, whatever, then I actually have a complete course. You can stream it, and I sh actually show people how to do it. You know, and like, I've been working night shift for seven years. And I've also worked with a lot of people from around the world through my website, showing people how they can lose weight as a shift worker. And I've helped a lot of people lose weight as a shift worker, and I'm proud of that. And I've done it myself, you know, and I'm proud of my physique. You know, I'm as a fitness model competitor, I'm as a, and a, and a night shift worker, they almost seem like a clash and they almost seem incompatible, but I've proven it. So if you need help with that, go and check out that video series. But in saying that, um, I've got three more nights to go and I can't wait until it's finished. And then I have a group posing session booked in with um, Vicky Arif. And so we're doing a group posing session in the classroom and I'll be learning, polishing up the poses that I need to learn for my next fitness model competition. Now, if you come from the other series, you've watched my first ever fitness model competition series, I talk about posing and what's required and what sort of posing I need to do for the stage. Um, if you haven't seen that series, that's completely fine. I'm gonna talk more about what the poses are for the competition that I need to do when I'm on stage. So I have that group posing session on Sunday at 2 p.m. So I finished night shift at 9.30 on that particular day, 9.30 a.m. Sunday morning, and I have a group posing class at 2 p.m. on the same day. So I'll be finishing at 9.30 at work. I'll sleep um, in the first aid room for about three hours at work, and then I'll go straight to the posing class. So watch out for that video. I'm gonna be terrible. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna look like absolute shit. Um, but I'm committed to it. I wanna, I wanna be the best I can be. So that's what you do. So I've already got most of my posing pretty much down pat. I've worked on it a lot, um, but I'm going to the group class to improve it and make it better. So that's what I booked in there. And then I've got a one-on-one -on -one session booked in with Vicky, who's a posing coach. I have her booked in for Tuesday next week, I think. Tuesday next, no, sorry, <laughs> Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. I've got her booked in. So that's a one-on-one -on -one session with her as well. So that's all posing. So Sunday afternoon, posing. Wednesday evening, posing. And then I've got my tanning booked in. So before you jump on the stage, you need to have tanning. And I've, I'm sure you've seen it. The guys look ridiculous. You're like, man, you look indigenous. And, but you need to have it. And the reason why guys get tanned is because the, the lights are so bright up on stage that the judges need to be able to see all of your muscles and all of your muscular development. And if you're not tanned, you look like a ghost. And I actually give you a contrast. I'll show this photo up in your screen this is me with very little tan on stage at the Arnold Model Surge competition. And you can see, you can barely see my muscular development. Two weeks prior was my first ever fitness model competition. I had a full tan on, three layers of tan, really, really dark. 
And that's what you see. You see a whole lot more and my physique was the same, right? So there's a big difference in what you can see, what the judges can see. So I booked in my tanning two days ago and so I'm about six weeks away from the competition right now and the tanning lady is almost booked out. So I have to go and see her on the Friday night, the Saturday night, and then I have to get my final tan on the day of the competition. How crazy is that? There's a base tan, then there's a stage tan, and then there's a top-up tan. Crazy, isn't it? So that's about 60 Australian dollars to book in. So I've booked that in. And then I've got a training session booked in with my competition coach, uh, Penny Lomas, at 6.45 Tuesday morning. My competition's on the 7th of May. And then I've organized to have four days off my work. Four days, yeah, four days leading up to the day of the competition because the week leading up to the competition is busy. It's crazy. It's, you know, it's really, really intense mentally, physically, like you need to, um, you need, well, it's not intense mentally. You should be relaxing. And I was for my first competition, but I found that I had a lot of things I needed to do in that final week leading up to the competition. So I needed to get tanning. I needed to hire a car. I had some final training sessions. I had a photo shoot. So it was busy for me. So I've taken four days off work and then I'm practicing my posing during my night shift as well. So, you know, one o'clock in the morning at work doing my posing. Now, actually I'll drop the camera a little bit so you can see me. So, you know, I'm in my workplace and I'm doing my posing like this. And it's like one, two o'clock at night, you know, um, three, four o'clock in the morning. And I'm practicing my posing, I'm just doing this, you know, for like half an hour to 45 minutes at a time. And it's quite dark, you know, because the lights dim down at night. And that's what I do. When everyone else is sleeping, I practice, I practice. And because it's quiet at work, I can do that. If you're a nurse watching this, you're like, Brad, you're not a nurse, clearly. As I understand, nurses don't have time to eat. So that's what I've been doing. And now the, the punchline of this whole discussion is that I do feel overwhelmed. I do, I do feel tired. I feel very fatigued. Um, this night shift has been really challenging for me because I have been carb cycling over two zero carb days. Now, it's hard enough doing night shift, let alone doing night shift with two zero carb days back to back. It is fucking challenging. And so on top of that, I do my training as well. So I finish work at seven in the morning or 9.30 in the, on Sunday, and then I'll sleep for five, six hours, wake up, do my filming, do my editing, run my business, and then go to the gym and train for an hour, an hour and 10 minutes, and then come home, have a shower, meal prep, because I have to meal prep, and then I'll go into work, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, do that seven days consecutively. And so it gets tiring. I don't have a social life. I'm isolated. I'm tired. I feel overwhelmed because there's so many, I have to see this coach for that thing and this coach for this thing. And I, and I have to go to the gym and train and then I've got to go to the supermarket and buy food and then bring it over to my kitchen and cook it and then I have to find time to eat it. And then I need to just look at my physique and see if I'm still making progress and tracking and everything's the measurements. This is intense. Like, I know you're watching this and you're like, I have no interest in, comp in competing. Most people watching this don't have any interest in competing, but everybody needs to see what I go through because this is what a fitness model competitor goes through to get ready for the stage. There are so many different moving parts and I don't do this full time. I'm not a sponsored athlete. I don't have someone paying me to do this. I have to, everything I do I is out of my own pocket. You know, my last, my first ever fitness model competition cost me 4,000, about 4,200 Australian dollars from physios, coaches, one-on-one -on -one sessions, supplements, right? And when I'm talking supplements, I'm talking about protein powder, I'm talking about, you know, multivitamins and whatever. So 4,200 thereabouts, it's a lot of money. I paid for that myself. I don't have sponsors paying that for me. So... As a fitness model competitor, it's expensive, it's time consuming, and it's socially isolating because you can't just go to a restaurant because you, I eat off a meal plan every single day. I have structured meals, two to three hours, I eat this, two to three hours, I eat this, two to three hours. 
150, 200 grams of chicken, 150, 200 grams of beef, 150, 200 grams of, and then 300 grams of sweet potato, sweet potato, rice, 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 sweet potato, rice, this and that, and whey protein. This is it. But this is a sport. And it's like any other sport that if you do it professionally or you do it seriously, then there's a lot of commitment involved. And at times I feel that I feel very overwhelmed. I do, because I'm still working a corporate job. I still work in an office, you know, and I've got to balance this around my workplace. You know, I'm going to make sure that if I go to work, that I get a training session in the morning, and then in the evening, I can still get to the supermarket before it closes, buy what I need to buy, meal prep, you know what I mean? So, and then I have to book in like a physio or a coach or whatever, because I have coaches now, I have two coaches, a physio, a GP, you know, and I still go to work. So this is a little bit of a bitch session and I, I don't mean to, I'm not someone who whinges and complains and this is completely my choice and I love doing this 90% of the time, but I'm just having a little bitch session because I am doing night shift, I am tired and I think I'm allowed to, I think I'm allowed to have a bitch session. So thank you so much for opening your ears to me and um, you know, I'm glad you've got some insight now as to that I'm not a perfect human being that can manage everything all the time. I'm, you know, I'm doing the best I possibly can and you know, that's all you can possibly ask for in the situation. You know, if you're someone who's a shift worker watching this, you want to lose a bit of weight, remember, I can help you out. I've got the results in my physique. I'm even gone as far as competing on stage and still working night shift. And I'm going and doing the world titles in Thailand in June and I still work shift work. So if anyone says you can't lose weight as a shift worker, they're full of shit. And don't read any article that you see on the internet that says, oh, like if you're a night shift worker, you're more likely to put on weight and struggle to lose weight and you can't lose weight. Yeah, it's a little bit harder to lose, but it's not impossible. You can do it. And, you know, if someone teaches you how, you can do it. So reach out to me. That's what I'm here for. I'm going on my own journey. You're following my own journey. It's great. I appreciate your support. You get to see the journey that I'm making to the world stage to you know the world titles but I'm also helping people as well if you want to lose a bit of weight that's what I'm here for help just reach out to me ask me any questions you have I'm a super duper down-to-earth human being from Australia that you know you can ask me any question you like I don't judge I love everybody equally I want to help people that's what I'm here for um, you know I'm here to share my wisdom my knowledge I don't know everything but I can take someone who's out of shape and I can put them in shape like this but you need to be committed and, um, and I've proven it myself. And you know, I've obviously won trophies in this. I know, I know what I'm talking about. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, reach out to me. Stay tuned, it's gonna get more interesting and I'll see you in another video.